we thought about the relation to start with the releasing of that uh, journal. You must have said something against the officer or an officer or, or something against the government, so that's why an arrest is being made. That's, that, that's the normal reaction. Uh, can, I, can I go into a bit of an anecdote, please? Our whole story started, uh, which is actually mentioned uh, uh, obliquely in the DCS. Targeting people, targeting people on the social media, it's not very specific. Now, if you think of what is the revolution of 370, the 370 when it happened on the 6th of August, 5th of August to be precise, there were 1500 fake accounts which were created by our adversaries. Operating? That is a kind of misinformation. The state actors are playing very academic and it's very policy and research driven. And there was very little information about the people who are working on the ground, implementing the project, the practitioners. Why we are preparing people how to manage and filter misinformation and fake stories spread via different sources. In India, we have a very interesting reputation, and um, the term that we often use to describe media outlets that spread fake news or misinformation, we call them not coding news channels. And um, again, there are times where a government official or a government body or a spokesperson has said certain things, statements which have been, you know, sort of misrepresented or there's misinformation or it's fake news and it's been online for over 48 hours or for over five days and then it's taken down. There are people who are spreading fake news who are followed by government officials. And at times there's no action taken against the individuals who are spreading that sort of information and news. So it's it's very similar to where we are, and I, I can understand that. And I'm uh, from Palestine. You know Palestine? <laughs> <laughs> I like you all. <laughs> when I was a kid myself, all the time I was standing in front of the mirror, not just watching my beauty, but actually all the time I had my uh, hairbrush in my hand, and I was uh, acting as uh, an, um, a TV announcer. So all the time I wanted to be on TV, to be, uh, uh, you know, giving programs and also singing in a while. So this was like how I grew up and always this was in my dreams that I want to grow up to be a journalist, a reporter or whatever. And in fact, I worked on it until I established in Palestine the first ever newspaper for and by young people. Uh, we have a lot of violence in Brazil. We're not engaged in any wars, but uh, inside the society, there's a lot of inequality and violence. And there's a research that has been done. It's, it's, it's so interesting that young people when they're robbed on the streets, they were more likely to die if someone was trying to take their smartphones than their car. <laughs> so you, you would rather risk being stabbed because you don't want to give away your smartphone because that represents so much what the car represented as freedom you know decades ago now it's the smartphone uh, when i say young people are the leaders of tomorrow how many people agree with me and if i say young people are the leaders today how many agree with me all right so <laughs> Everybody may be right, but for us at uh, Center for Media Business and Community Development, we believe that young people are the leaders today. Previously, uh, young people have been left out of uh, very many issues. They have been told that the leaders of tomorrow, which I want to disagree today, and we take them on that. So my question is, the struggle you're facing is with functional, so in terms of quality of education, when in the country the quality of education is poor, uh, and your functional literacy is also poor. Uh, and now we have this digital space. So it's easier to do functional digital literacy to say how do you do banking, etc. But what we're trying to do in MIL is uh, much deeper. Uh, and we're looking at understanding media, we're looking at understanding media, media ownership, we're looking at parsing information, fake, etc. And you're, you're dealing with a population which is not necessarily uh, Educated, so we have young people from government schools in class nine who are not able to read the newspaper, for example, and uh, and we are working with them through the use of mobile, looking at all this. So, what has been your experience, and what how have you developed? Because we are currently also developing our curriculum 
through an action research process uh, working in the margins of the metropolitan cities. So what has been uh, the experience of, of the panel here in addressing or in developing a curriculum that works with um, young people or, or communities uh, that are already challenged by uh, poor quality education? Uh, India has a diversity and its advantage of also learning a lot of things on its own. Uh, very unfortunately, most of the developers of education systems are literate. You know, and their ecosystem is written as a basis of literacy. So it's not in their capacity to think, to develop oral uh, communication system in a manner that the oral community who do not have a means to use written as a medium to develop content for them. Without uh, let us have a free space, or, or a, you have to balance the free speech argument with a bit of. There were lots of questions asked. The problem was not by the applicants and the examiner. This was because of misconception. Come this side so you yeah. can all see it. If, if it was me, I'll put her on the third of the frame mm -hmm. so we can give some room here mm -hmm. for her to be. If, if it was a documentary, something more serious, then some shots can be adjusted. What would I be? Where what would I be? I'll be slightly here mm -hmm. so that she could look at me. It's more natural. Mm -hmm. She could talk to me. And then it seems like she's looking into the. This is very important because we used to say if you have a bad picture, you can fix it. But if you have a bad, bad sound, you will never be able to fix it. Make the good frames, headroom. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The headroom, yeah, the side yeah. rooms, and all that. Okay. When, when it comes to a short movie, two, three, four, four, five minute movie or a, a short story, what kind of shoot then we can shoot? How we take shots? Mm -hmm. Like this.